Why is there no such thing as melanism? In humans where the opposite is albinism, melanism in humans, as an equivalent opposite to albinism, is a fascinating concept. Albinism, as we know, is a condition characterized by the absence of melanin pigment, which gives color to the skin, hair, and eyes. It's the genetic mutations causing a disruption in melanin production that lead to this condition. In theory, melanism would mean an overproduction of this pigment. But humans don't exhibit melanism in the way some animals do. In animals, melanism results in a darkening of the skin due to the overproduction of melanin, possibly for camouflage or heat regulation advantages, which is why you might see a super dark panther that's actually a melanistic jaguar. Humans, on the other hand, have a vast array of skin tones governed by more than just melanin. Genetics also determine how this melanin is distributed and produced, responding to environmental demands over generations. Evolutionarily speaking, we've adapted our melanin levels to suit our sun exposure needs, striking a balance between protecting our skin from UV radiation and producing enough vitamin D. So, while there isn't an extreme condition named melanism in humans akin to albinism, we do observe hyperpigmentation conditions where certain areas of skin become darker, such as melasma or lineae nigre. These, however, are not the inverse of albinism and are often localized rather than affecting the entire body. Moreover, when you contemplate the wide range of natural skin colors humans have, what you're seeing is the result of evolutionary tweaks in melanin production to suit our ancestors' environments better. In Portland, for example, where I'm based, we don't get as much sun as, say, someone in Kenya might, and that's partially why skin tones can be significantly lighter here. But that's not melanism. It's just the human response to differing climates that we've experienced globally. Ultimately, the reason melanism doesn't exist in humans as the exact opposite of albinism is because human genetics and skin coloration are incredibly complex, shaped by our evolution and adaptation to different environments, rather than a single genetic mutation leading to an overproduction of melanin across the entire body.